It's so weird to be back in Nashville, especially because Debbie and little Mirren are back home in Missouri. I'm here to kind of celebrate Centricity Records' 10-year anniversary. Centricity is the record label that first signed me uh, to a record deal here in Nashville. Um, actually, they're from Seattle. Well, that's a long story. But it's, um, it's great because they were super kind to me, super amazing people. Uh, everyone at Centricity is awesome. And uh, they, they helped Circle Slide um, kind of get out there. And it was great. Had a wonderful, wonderful time. But it was difficult too. So, um, yeah, what am I talking about? It was, it was difficult but fun. And, but the people, that's interesting, the, the actual people are amazing. So I'm getting ready to go see them and go say hi. Everything is so new. I'm headed to Franklin, to Tennessee. That's where I'm going right now. And that's where their offices are. I'm gonna shake some hands, say hi, hopefully see some familiar faces. And then, but before that, I need coffee. And I think the only great place for coffee either is in Franklin is either Starbucks or Frothy Monkey. I don't know if they have a a crema there. There's maybe there's some great I know there's gotta be great coffee. I just it's been a while so get to play with my buddy Nick Gonzalez. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah I'm really looking forward to today. I just miss Mirren and Debbie like crazy. But I need coffee so bad I I'm gonna be horrible to be around without coffee. As you can tell I'm just not not myself just quite yet. <music> That's what we're playing tonight, Franklin Theater. What? Tell me, tell me, tell me that you never leave. Oh my gosh, that was super fun. I got to see some great, great people. John Mays from Centricity Records, head of A&R there. And uh, Glenn Lavender was the bass player for Down Here. Such an awesome guy and his kids and his wife. So, um... Yeah, anyway, just so, so cool. Karen, everybody, the people at Centricity are fantastic. But I'm on my way to see Nick Gonzalez from Salvador. He is uh, probably my best friend. Uh, he's probably got better friends than me in his life, but I, to him, he's my best friend. In other words, he probably doesn't realize he's my best friend, but he's my best friend. And uh, love this guy. And he... Uh, He's going to help me out tonight so that we can do a song kind of honoring um, the owners of Centricity and the people of Centricity and kind of congratulating them on doing such a killer job with artists like Jordan Felice and Lauren Daigle and down here, Jason Gray, Andrew Peters. I mean, they've got a killer lineup, Unspoken, uh, Me in Motion. They, they just have, they've had tremendous success and They've worked hard and they've stayed in the game, and that's how you do it. You gotta just keep at it. So, congrats to them. I'm gonna go do my best, try to um, throw down tonight with some amazing artists. So, that should be fun. I love when that happens. This is Nick's little studio, man. We're trying to get some, trying to get some uh, recording here done. Not recording, we're rehearsing. This is where we're rehearsing. In Nick's little studio, he went out to go get a little tuner. It's chaotic because we he's never done this song with me before. And that's how I do things. I'm crazy. Anybody who's ever played in a band with me, the reason why you probably don't stick around is because I, I do crazy stuff like this. I say at the last minute, let's do this song that we've never done before. I love this poster. All right, hey, this is my buddy Nick. He's trying to play. A song he's never played with me before. We're going to do it like as if we've done it a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and pretend like we're relaxed, right? Just mm. pretend like we're relaxed, like we've done this a million times. Tuner, not, not checking my Facebook status. <laughs> hey, that's both. Both are good. Okay, here we go. I, I record this, but there's no good place to put my camera. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, so part of the signature sound that we're going for tonight is a stomp box sound. And I left my stomp box in Missouri. So Nick is going to make one with me right now out of this cigar box that just happened to be lying around. I'm not going to tell you how I have one of those, but I have one. And Nick's going to make it right now in his shop. And then we're going to, and literally we have like 10 minutes and we've got to go sound check. But this is how we do things.
If I would stop filming, we could get this built. Just dropped off Nick back at his house. We did the sound check. The theater is amazing. I'm gonna try to get some footage of that. It's just, you know, I'm catching up with my friend and you know, you don't wanna be filming that all the time. So I'm not filming any of that. And then when I get to the theater to sound check, you know, we're, I've got a guitar, I've got harmonicas, I've got a tambourine. We got that stomp box that we built. He's got his guitar, all this stuff. And then parking downtown Franklin is insane. Um, so. Um, someone's honking like crazy, but um, so I didn't film any of that because I just didn't have time. And maybe if I do this more, I'll, I'll get more into that, do a better job. But if you notice, I'm, I'm using these. What the reason I'm talking right now is I drive back to the hotel. Is I've got these earbud things. Uh, I've dropped my phone so many times that this when I do this front-facing camera, the microphone doesn't work. Uh, they replaced the screen somehow when they replaced the screen the microphones don't work it, my, my phone is is bad it needs to be replaced and I'm just uh, when I have a moment to settle down I'll go and get a new phone getting a new phone is um, is an ordeal you gotta you know, move everything and if you you gotta like you gotta make time it's like going on a date with somebody you gotta make a date with your phone to update it and all that stuff. So if you're busy, you can't update your phone. You just do, you put headphones to make a recording. I'm gonna go get a bite to eat finally and uh, and go meet up with my manager, Keith Stansel, who um, manages the Grey Havens and Ryan Korn and uh, Holly Starr, some great artists. I just saw them, they just left. They were going on tour as Nick and I were rehearsing they were they're using some of my gear and nick's gear to go on the road and god bless them i love that they do that nick and i always loan out our gear to our friends and so our friends are on the road i got friends at centricity gonna play with them tonight and yet i miss my little girl i miss my wife and i got to facetime with them a little bit this morning and when I said, okay, I'm going to go bye by Mira, and Mira said, no. <laughs> she says it's so funny. Her no is really So, funny. this is how much I love my wife. I am uh, also delivering a package for her. She, uh, Debbie, still is able to keep her job here in Nashville at work from Missouri, of all things. And she wanted me to drop off this package. Out of work. It happens to be here in Franklin, so I'm also doing that because that's the kind of husband I am. Delivering the package for the day. Okay, so that was successful. Got to drop off the package, got to catch up with some awesome people here at Debbie's work. And um, now I, I need to eat. I haven't eaten anything since uh, yesterday. It's like three, almost four o'clock, so um, I need to grab some food. And I wish I could eat some more cool and like videotape me to get some awesome, posh, amazing Nashville, like just Nashville has amazing food, but I'm probably gonna do like a Wendy's drive-through or something, so it's all right. Um, next time I'll, I'll do something cool, but just time. I just don't have time to go and sit down and eat cool. That's what I miss. I miss you, Whole Foods. Breakfast of chance. So I'm back in the hotel. And um, I'm just going to get freshened up. And then head back out to go meet, again, Keith for coffee. And then I think we're doing a group picture, if I'm not mistaken and then we're going to uh, perform. And, and it's just a way for me to say how much of a big honor it is to play with these group of people. Let's face it, some of these artists are just doing incredible things. And it's a gr I'm telling you, it's a grind out there on the road. You have to just work, work, work. You gotta love it. You gotta engage with fans. You've gotta 
write amazing material. Radio has to love you. The, all the work and all the craziness. And all, it's, it's not just about talent. Uh, if, you're, if you're succeeding in music business, it's because you're working your butt off. And that's the, la- I mean, that's the bottom line. It has, and, and you've got to be talented, obviously. And you've you got to love people. And people got to connect with your music. But uh, so if you, if you see these people and they're, they're doing great, they're, they're literally working crazy hard to be able to do what they're doing. And uh, with a two-year-old, um, Mirren, I love that little girl. I just don't want to be away from her. I don't like traveling and missing out on little milestones. Um, last night, she looked at me right in the eyes and she said, Daddy, Daddy, and like realizing and recognizing that I'm her dad. So, uh, I, was, I mean, I was literally bawling in, in the bathroom, you know, we're doing bath time. So I don't want to miss those moments as much as I love traveling and I love the fact that Linwood Baptist Church lets me do music, lead worship, write, and I'm getting ready for Christmas. That's going to be an exciting thing. So thank you. Thank you, Linwood Baptist Church, for opening your hearts and your doors to Debbie and myself so that we can um, uh, just be home and be a family. It's amazing. Especially with what's happened recently in our family. That's a whole other thing. And I'm not going to get into it today. But, um, yeah. So I'm very grateful today. It's good to be back in Nashville. But um, my home and my heart are back home in Missouri. And, um, but it's an honor. I'm stoked to be able to play tonight. Super excited. Finally made it to the Frothy Monkey. So I can meet up with Keith. And I'm running late for that. Hey man. Dude. What's up? Hey man. <laughs> so we're doing artists. That's the ones we're gonna use. <laughs> oh, when Mark and I take off, that's when you guys do the thing? Great, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so this is the artist picture we're doing here. Franklin Theater. Before. We just did a huge, we just spent like the last 30 minutes taking a picture. It's kind of fun. If you exit stage right, you will always have the ball. My front facing camera stopped working. We can't like mine doesn't work. So I have to literally do this and just pretend like I'm in a shot. This is so much fun. I'm having a good time. I've been. There you go. That's the one right there. There's my guitar. So we're getting ready to start. Backstage. Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to be sitting out there. I'm yeah. supposed to be sitting out there. You're probably supposed to be sitting out there. Okay, I'm going to go out there. She said, Are you She's like, That is my favorite song in the world. Like, unapologetically. I'm shooting over there, sorry. All right, so that's Franklin Theater. That's where we play tonight. 
It was fun. We had a great moment. And it was just a lot of fun to see everybody. And uh, Nick was amazing. Nick, if you're watching this, again, thank you a million, million times. Uh, it's better than I could have hoped. And just a way to honor these people who poured so much into our lives. As I stand here, the glow of the theater behind me, um, all I can think about is that little girl at home and my wife, Debbie, who just, for all those years we were on the road, I mean, just gave a thousand and ten percent. And uh, love her. Love you, Debbie. And I think about how God's unconditional love, the way I feel about them, the way God loves each and every one of us, is the same exact way, that same unconditional, unfailing, powerful, devoted love. He has for you, um, if you're watching this, that's how God loves you. And uh, you can't uh, put a price tag on that, you can't earn it, he just loves you. Um, the way I love my little daughter, and I can't wait to see her. So, hope you enjoyed this little blog, little journey in my day today. It was fun. See you next time. Bye. Oh.